Belgian Malinois are great herding and protection dogs, and there's no doubt about that. But will they fit in perfectly in your home and into your lifestyle? Let's find out. By the end of this video today, you will be able to decide whether or not a Belgian Malinois will be an ideal breed for you. So here are 10 things that you must know before you get yourself a Malinois puppy. Number 1. Money First things first, money is an important aspect if you're buying a puppy from a reputable breeder. And I'm sure you've definitely given a thought as to how much you're willing to spend to get a Malinois pup, unless you're planning to adopt one from a shelter. Let me tell you that on average, the cost of a Malinois puppy ranges from $800 to $1,800 depending on the pet quality and the breeder. A top quality healthy Belgian Malinois puppy can at times cost as much as four grand. The price depends on the dog's lineage, conformation to breed standards, age, and training. Now once you know how much you're willing to spend on your new Malinois puppy, it's important to know how big they're gonna get when they're fully grown. Which brings us to point number two, their size. Now if you're planning to get a male Belgian Malinois, you should know that he can reach up to 2 feet 2 inches in height and up to 65 pounds in weight. But if you're getting a female Malinois, she can reach up to 2 feet in height and weigh as much as 55 pounds. Which brings us to point number three, their lifespan. If everything goes right and you're able to maintain their sound health, your male will have a healthy lifespan of 12 to 14 years. Number four, their colors. Now once you've decided that you're gonna get a Belgian Malinois, it's time to choose the color of your puppy. There are 12 AKC standard Belgian Malinois colors. Black, brindle, cream, fawn, gray, liver, mahogany, red, red sable, fawn sable, gray sable, and cream sable. These are some of the common colors. You could also get different varieties of other mixes, but it's all up to the availability of dogs at your breeder. Number 5. They're not for novice owners If you've never had an experience owning a dog before, then this might not be the right breed for you, at least for now. Malinois are super energetic dogs that can definitely turn out to be a handful for a novice owner. With their high energy and exercise needs, these guys may also not fare as well in apartments or small living spaces. So unless you live in a big fenced-in area with a lot of space for your dog to run around in and have a prior experience of handling a canine friend, a Malinois unfortunately won't be able to fit into your life. Number 6. Their exercise If you're looking for a cuddle buddy, then this again might not be the right breed for you. Yes, males are highly active and intelligent dogs. They have a great deal of energy and they need a lot of exercise. This is not a dog who can be left in the backyard and daily walks are just not enough either. They're built for action, so they must be kept busy learning, playing, and working. Daily exercise, both physical and mental, is a must. If possible, provide your Malinois with some off-leash exercise in a fenced area in addition to long walks or jogging. They need about 20 minutes of activity three or four times a day. Make sure you have enough time and space for your dog to perform all the physical games and activities before you get yourself a Belgian Malinois. Number 7. Their Training one thing you need to know before you bring one of these guys home is that they have strong herding and protection instincts. Like most herding breeds, Malinois have a high prey drive and they're strongly interested in moving objects. This trait can lead to chasing children, vehicles, or other animals, so it should be directed into acceptable activities through training. Early socialization and obedience training, therefore, are musts. In the last decade, Belgian Malinois have received a lot of attention for their work in the military, drug detection agencies, search and rescue operations, and police forces around the country. So with such a big reputation, you could also consider training them to compete in obedience or agility. Number 8. Their Grooming Grooming a Malinois isn't much of a hassle. Their short, waterproof coat is quite easy to take care of. Occasional brushing with a medium bristle brush, a rubber grooming mitt or tool, or a hound glove will keep them looking at their best. So if you're someone who doesn't want to spend much time and money grooming your four-legged friend, then this is definitely the breed you're looking for. Number 9. Their Feeding When it comes to feeding a Belgian Malinois, you don't have to worry much about how, what, and when to feed them. They usually do pretty well on high-quality dog food, whether commercially manufactured or home-prepared with their veterinarian supervision and approval. Any diet should be appropriate to your puppy, adult, or senior Malinois. Some males are prone to getting overweight, so it's important to watch your dog's calorie consumption and weight level. Treats can be an important aid in training, but giving too many can cause obesity. Other than these, there's nothing much to worry about a Belgian Malinois feeding. Number 10. They're great with kids Most people worry about how their new dogs can react to kids in their home. With Belgian Malinois, you don't have to worry about that. If they're well-trained and have plenty of exposure to kids, especially as a puppy, a Malinois could be a great companion for children. Because of their herding heritage, they may have a tendency to nip at their heels and try to hurt them when playing. But you can teach your Malinois that this behavior is unacceptable. An adult Malinois who is unfamiliar with children may do best in a home with children who are mature enough to interact with them properly. So there you go. These are the top 10 most important things you must know before bringing a Belgian Malinois home. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next one.